miles out, hearts beating faster in a minute. I'm high on slow dancing with you. One, two, three, keep it going, last forever. All blacked out, then flying with you. I don't care that my mind's gone insane and my heart will burst into flames. Everyone, welcome back to a haul. Me and my tripod are falling out. It's completely broken and it's leaning like this when it should be this. So you're pointing down. It should be like that. And it's going to make me look like compact, like a sausage dog. I'm basically hanging a pair of shoes on the back of the tripod to weigh it down. You should see what I'm looking at right now. Okay, so welcome to another haul. Today's haul is, obviously I'm going to show you what's new in, like I always do, but I try and make it constructive. And this haul today is all about a new handbag that I've discovered, a new handbag brand. A couple of new in, like, trend pieces, but I'm also showing you some classic key pieces, key pieces. And you'll be pleased to know that they are high street. I didn't go looking for high street. I went to find the best key pieces and if it was going to be designer, it would have been cost per wear because it's worth it. But it was high street, so hopefully you love this haul. And I'm also going to share with you some underwear because you know, I haven't done that for a while when you know I like to show underwear to wear under each garment because underwear is where it all starts and you need to get that right before you, you know, like I'm just going to show you t-shirt bars, so I'm just going to put this on. So I've got a Lancome lipstick on that's really, really matte, which I like, but it needs a bit of gloss on top. Okay, so I'm going to start off by showing you the two pieces that I got gifted by Net-a-Porter for the editorial shoot that I did. That video will be out next, so you'll be able to see behind the scenes of me shooting an editorial with them. Most amazing time ever, loved it. Can't wait to see everything on their social. Um, but for doing that, they, the girl surprised me with this Loewe cardigan. They knew that I wanted it because it has a Bambi. Um, it's really oversized. They had hardly any left. So if you do want this cardigan, I really hope that they have some left. You know I link everything below with side references to help you order. And also everything that's gifted is declared. So this is a mohair oversized Loewe cardigan with three Bambis on. I love the colour, I love um, that this will go so no so well with my Birkin, my new green one, um, and I just lo I just can't wait to throw it on, even in the summer, I'm going to take this on holiday with me, and I love just wearing like a summer dress or a denim skirt with this thrown over, it's just so chic, and I just loved how huge it was. That I wanted a small, but because they were nearly sold out, I got a medium, but I actually really love how oversized it is, so I just can't wait to wear this with classic jeans, classic, classic tee, with a pair of like teal Manolos or black Manolos, but then also with some trainers. It will look great with my Loewe basket bag, it will look great with a little, it's just one of those things that goes with everything. So, and it's definitely an investment trend piece, which is why I'm obviously over the moon that I was gifted this. The next thing I'm going to show you are some nude flares, which were also a gift from the Nest Porte team. These are the most beautiful, luxurious flares. They're double lined. Double lined. Uh, they have the faux pockets at the back, a side zip, which is really flattering. The fabric has a bit of give, so it's going to be really comfortable. And I just love that you can dress up or dress down flares. They're so flattering. A lot of petite girls, well, I know a couple of petite girls that don't like wearing them, but I actually think they're great for petite girls. They just look so good on everyone. I think so anyway. It's, you just got to balance it out on the top. So I personally just like wearing these with, sometimes I wear it for pretty blouse when I go out in the evening and I wear super high shoes. Or other times I'll wear like a plain tee. I would even wear it with this and a denim jacket. But they're just classic key new trousers. And because I wear my other ones so much, I just know I'm going to wear these. Um, and that's when I decided to talk to you about one of my favourite suit brands. I've got quite the collection and I just got a new colour. Let's put this back properly. But before we get onto that, I'm going to talk to you about a new handbag brand that I've discovered. And I've actually got two to show you. So this is my new handbag. This is a brand that I'm working with. I've collaborated with Senrev um, to show you these bags. And I actually test drove this one already. I used it all day yesterday. So the reason 
why the purpose i wanted this bag for i was on the hunt for a bag to replace my chanel xl my huge xxl jumbo now i still adore that bag literally i love it I mean, it's not going anywhere and i actually bought that bag for meetings and travel which it still is great for the only thing is and i knew this when i when i bought it i was only going to take it on short flights around europe or if i'm going for a weekend away in london and to my meetings and that's exactly what i've been using it for but i love it so much i wanted one for when i go long haul so i just love how it's really secure um and it also just looks and feels really luxe obviously and it's not like your typical travel bag the only problem is i don't want to use that for long haul i didn't pay six thousand pounds for a bag to be thrown all over the plane not i'm throwing it but you know what i mean um also with my meetings i've been having uh, probably four times the amount of meetings and normally i would go for you know for blogging where normally i'm being shown something or it's more of a catch-up i don't really need a big bag but lately because i've been doing other things outside from blogging it's i'm the one who's presenting i'm the one who has to have a thing so i have to have my laptop so i'm going to show you what i have in here although i didn't use this for a meeting i still went out all day yesterday and needed stuff because i needed to work halfway through the day so i am going to show you what's inside but i wanted a bag that was good for my meetings like for corporate meetings where i need my laptop my huge diary all the bits and bobs that i need i need to carry all of my chargers around with me usually my cameras as well plus all the other girly bits that i need and i wanted something that was still really luxe and felt like I felt, you know, I love my handbag. So I wanted something that felt really luxe, looked really luxe. I wanted something chic. I wanted, I didn't want anything busy. I just wanted something simple, super luxe, super chic. And that was what I was trying to find and really durable hardware. So I teamed up with Senrev and I actually couldn't believe that it was exactly what I was looking for. So this is the largest size of the bags it comes in so many different colors which was so hard to choose from i really love the lavender and the latte but i ended up going for this gray which is called storm and it's the perfect gray you can see why i like it it's very much like my green moet kelly um I'll, I'll actually go and get it so you can see a side by side but it has that top handle which all of my bags must have and i haven't ever seen a bag as big as this with a top handle so it's great to carry around like this it has the long strap and it's very comfortable because it has this um and the height was perfect for me i'm five foot six and the height was perfect although you can adjust it and i was finding myself like when i was going down the escalator i would hold this at the same time and the genius thing about this which i thought was really cute but i i I would have got this bag anyway if it wasn't for this that I'm going to show you. But it actually is a backpack. And I love backpacks. I have my Chanel Vintage one. I have my Gabrielle one. And I actually used it yesterday because towards the end of the day, my bag got so heavy with everything in it. I ended up using it like this. And because I was shopping, I went to Topshop Personal Shopping. Because I was doing that, I didn't want to leave my bag. So I literally had hands free. And I was, I was, I was blown away. It was, it's the most practical bag ever and i just love the color i love how durable the leather is but the best bit is this so if you're an hermes girl like me you will have no doubt the inserts the suede or the felt inserts and look how easy this is you can just do it with one hand so it's very secure very practical it has the zip has the buckle here which you can do with one hand and then it has the zip and because it's sturdy you can do everything with one hand the best thing about this which you didn't look at when I was ordering it, is the suede interior and it's baby blue. So the whole thing just feels very luxe. And inside, it reminds me of my Hermes inserts because everything is literally laid out like one of them inserts. So I just have my laptop in the middle. That's just my Mac. And everything else I had in the pocket. So every single round the edge has got a pocket so it, everything i had had its own pocket and that's one thing i avoid with, with big bags is that when you throw everything in it just becomes one big giant mess whereas everything here had a pocket and it and it's also got this zip pocket here and on the back i have my, my oyster in here which was really convenient but please do be careful what you put in here because i'm very careful whenever i put anything back in my chanel classic flap or this but i just love that it has everything that i love the back flap like the chanel um and the top handle the long strap like my green moet 32 kelly i would love to use my 32 kelly for everything that i'm telling you about but definitely didn't pay eight thousand to use that every day going around london so 
that's the big size um perfect for office bag i obviously don't work in an office but just great work bag great mummy bag um, and also great for travel so i'm intending this for travel and meetings but then yesterday i did neither and i still wore it and you've got to check out the colors because the colors are just every color you can think of this was another one that i picked and when i travel i always have a, a smaller crossbody to put like my passport my boarding pass my purse so i intend to use this for traveling tomorrow one that i can just put around me and it's again it's called the maestro and it's the same concept so you can have this as a crossbody which is super cute for a crossbody and it's got the same cute little handle it's literally like a birkin 25 or a kelly 25 so you can see why i love these so much and i love how streamlined they are and i love the logo here at the side like it's not too logo-y and again this cool concept where it can become an adjustable rucksack it just has literally everything and the price they, they do feel really luxury and they are a luxury brand but the price point is extremely good for something so luxury and something that's is really well made and again they all have this blue suede interior i haven't got anything this one because i haven't used it but you can see better all the different compartments so i always say buy those inserts for any handbag you have but this is one that you don't need it so I can't wait to take that to Cam with me. My mum's in love with this one. She asked, she said, can she borrow it in Cam? I'm not sure, because I might not see it again. So let me know which one you prefer. This is the smaller one, this is the mini. I have the mini and the biggest my shirt, and there's also a medium sized one, which I can imagine is amazing. Um, so they're my two new bags. The amazing, it's an American brand by the way. And something that I is the most amazing thing, because they're luxury, although they were gifted to me, I still have to pay customs and tax even when they're gifts. And I was a bit worried because they are, you know, they're luxury bags, they are expensive. And I asked them, I said, oh, how does it work with, with me paying the tax? And then they told me that one of the, they didn't even, they don't even brag about it that much, but they pay everyone's customs, so, if you're like me and you're buying it out of America, you don't have to pay the customs. They cover all of that, which I thought was amazing. I have never heard of that before. I've actually stopped shopping at certain places because it's just too ridiculous for me to pay all of that custom. So an amazing find. I'm super happy with them. I love how chic and durable they are. Now we're going to get on to the suit. So many of you will recognize probably this one because it's the one I had the longest. It's my Hebe suit. Um, my Italian made in Italy suit and I wore this one to a wedding uh, just over a year ago. So I discovered Hebe about two years ago because I have a huge passion for hunting down brands and anything that no one else has got, something that's up and coming. It's always been a huge passion of mine to do. And then as a stylist, I need to be doing this. Like it's a must, I have to do it. So this was one brand that I discovered and this is a perfect brand especially for a stylist because it's so unbranded and so classic that you can you can style it to different people and if i'm doing a campaign or something like that you know i i couldn't use this in a campaign because it looks like i'm they're advertising that so there's actually a lot of un like unwritten rules that you should all just know as a stylist that when you are styling people like you would never really put like a chanel bag or you know that Louis Vuitton cardigan everything has to be unbranded and it has to be focused on whatever the person's holding even if it's beauty the focus normally isn't well it's not the outfit unless you're styling their actual brand so this is perfect for that and i ended up having this for a winter wedding it was my first winter wedding um, and I actually had another one straight after and velvet dresses are amazing for winter weddings but I also recommend suits and I have worn this so much I mix and match the pink looks great with denim the flares look great on their own but they look killer together so if you are looking for a suit this isn't mm, I don't want to say workwear because there's so many different things that we all do like I could wear this for work when you talk about work you don't have to just work in Liverpool Street or you know the financial district if you are working somewhere like that, you wouldn't wear this. It has like the tuxedo, satin lapel. The lapels are really oversized. It's not a corporate look at all. The flares are gonna be overdressed. It's very low cut. It's not, it's not a corporate suit, but I could wear this for work. 
But if you're looking for a classic suit where you could, I mean, you could totally wear this. If you work at, I don't know, a fashion brand or someone that's really casual, you could totally wear, you know, you can wear what you want. But just a classic suit, I'm kind of going off now, but a classic suit that you can wear to events, to parties, to smart casual, this is one of the brands you need to look at. So I got this one and the navy blue one direct from Hebe. So I've got exactly the same. I had two winter weddings, bought two suits, ended up wearing the second one, a uh, second one I ended up wearing um, a velvet dress, but I ended up wearing this for my De Beers presentation that I did with them. Um, and I love this one so much that I got the lapels white. So the black one is my latest addition. Both of them I bought actually. So this one I bought with my rewards, um, my Louise Roma privilege points, which is something I always go on about. Uh, not an ad, it's just when you shop with them, you sign up, you can collect points. So I bought a pair of Manolos and had some left over and bought these. And then as soon as I saw the jacket back in stock, I bought this. So I bought this the other day. This one wasn't gifted. I've actually bought all, out of the four, I bought all of them except for one because I love them that much. And the price is not that, like, extortionate, considering it's a luxury, made in Italy, tailored suit. And they're quite good if you want a custom suit or anything, they're really good. One tip I do really need to tell you, I just can't wait to wear this black one. I'm gonna take this to cam with me. One huge tip, you really need to listen to me on this one with the tailoring. These are like a bell flare, so they go curved at the bottom. So if they're not straight, even when I pull it, you can see that they're, see that they're curved, like a bell flare. So when I first had these tailored, I thought obviously the tailor was, was obviously going to see that. Um, and they cut it straight and I literally look like a triangle. So if you do get these tailors, because they're, they're super long, they're like this much too long for me. And they look really good oversized, which I can get away with for the, the black. But if you do get this and you do need them tailored, make sure you say to the, the seamstress, curve it don't do it straight because otherwise you're going to end up like triangle legs like me but they're just so classic so they're my go-to trousers i can always rely that i can wear these flares and just mix and match with anything sorry i had to change my sneaker because i was talking too much so the dream suit if you want a suit you're looking for some tailoring you're looking for a blazer you're looking for some flares great to have them both together that's your suit the nude ones are actually a completely different brand and they come in all kinds of different colours. So I'll also link that because they're completely separate. Now, oh, I've got some amazing shoes and underwear. Right, let's talk about the classic things. So most of us love jeans. Most of us love t-shirts. So we all have that in our wardrobe. I've literally had the same jeans I'm, since I'm 16. And it's only been in the last year that I've been putting all my jeans on and they're not very comfortable. Like, you definitely get wider if you get older, but also I'm just really relaxed about how my body is. I know there's a lot of body shaming on um, YouTube, but you know, it's just not the be all and the end all. So it was time that I invested in a couple of new jeans. I know exactly what I'm looking for. I still can wear my other jeans, but I definitely needed some more. And if you watch my hauls, you'll know that I've just discovered the straight jeans by Topshop. Very pleased about the fact that they're high streaks. Because when you find a good pair of jeans, if they are a few hundred, I know I would pay for them. Because the same jean lasts you for years. So these are the straight high-waisted from um, Topshop. <laughs> I ha I'm a 10 and I have a size 28. Um, and I've got my white, my beige, every colour in a 28 and they didn't have 28 in black so I got a 30 and I just loved how comfortable they were so these are really comfortable for me that like I can even go on the plane with these They're, I've got so much room um, and I just really just that's what I'm looking for because I'm sick of not wearing jeans at home because like my, my normal size they're not comfy to lie about the house. Like, you know those people that lay on the sofa in jeans? Who are you? So now I can do it with these. So I just went a size up. They're not boyfriends. They're just loose on me. I went for two different shades. One is super stone wash. There are lots of different washes, so I'll make sure I link the exact one. They always go out of stock, these. I've been trying to get these for about three months, so hopefully they're, they're still in stock by the time this video goes out. So I have the super light stone wash. Buy true to your size as well. And if you want to get one extra pair like me for super loose and wearing around the house, do that. If you want to wear a baggy boyfriend fit, then go two sizes up. So they're slightly different, can you see? 
and they're just the dream ones to go with anything. They're slightly cropped. I bought a 34 for my black ones, so they basically hit my ankle, and I love them. So definitely check out these. You have to try on jeans, but you know, with online shopping, it is so easy, so you know, you can always send them back. But the point is, you have to try on jeans to find your the good fit for you. If these don't fit your body shape, um, and you're trying every single size, it means that this straight leg isn't for you, this straight style is not for you. So I recommend the editorial jean, which basically are the same, but these fit me so much better, so it's all about the shape. The mum jeans, mom jeans, I can get away with them and they fit me great, but if I had to choose, I didn't want to be excessive buying loads of jeans, so I only bought these ones. The mum jeans are right, uh, they're great for me, but definitely mum editor no editor editorial or the straight ones try those three and see which ones you like because they're all great but slightly different in well then you've got like the super skinny which i'm i'm not a huge fan of that now t-shirts i actually wish i'd got more of these so this is actually a top shop chip tee i loved it so much i can imagine it just literally with anything denim jacket one of these blazers so something different from a plain tea. And I also bought a really amazing Fleetwood Mac tea from there as well. Well, I've got it here. Love Fleetwood Mac. Me and my mum went to go and see them. And my sister Steve is named after Stevie Nicks. Stevie Nicks. So, these t-shirts you've already seen. Some of you might not like the nibbled neckline. That's literally what it's called, nibbled. I have this in beige. I have it in every colour. And I just went and bought a new one because they're £10. They're quite boxy. So normally I buy up a size. But with this one I don't need. They're just great t-shirts. And I love a fresh white t-shirt. Especially for holiday. Now this is a new discovery. This is the Topshop Boutique t-shirt. It's £24. Um, I bought a size small, 36 to 38, and look how oversized it is, but I love that. I love t-shirts that are long here and long in the body. They just look so good tucked into the jean. The, the jersey is so fluid and soft. It just feels amazing, and I love this off-black colour. Um, top tip, buy the black capsules when you do your washing, because it will keep the black. But the, you've got to check this out, because it's so soft um i should have got a white as well actually i've just ordered them online but if you're looking for any tees oh they also do a v-neck which i also have lots of which you would have seen in my other hauls but top shop tees have never been so great so definitely the place to go for tees i wasn't meant to show you this because i don't want to bombard you with too many things but this is a top shop boutique blouse I got this um, gifted with a voucher, by the way. This was £95, which seems really expensive at Topshop, even though I was like, oh, my God, £95. But anywhere else, this would be a lot more expensive. And it's got the gathered hem, the drop shoulder. Oh, it's beautiful. It is so beautiful. Now, let's show you. Before we get on to the underwear, I am going to show you a present that I bought for Stevie. I haven't managed to give it to her yet, but... Um, I bought her a card holder about five years ago and she wore it to death. And then if you watch my other vlog where I bought her some Manolos, I bought her a skinny dip one that was just palm trees and I had her name put on it. It was more just that she could have something with her name. Uh, but I actually have wanted to get her um, one of these for a long time. She loves my Gucci Mama bag that I've had for ages and this is the matching one. I love this nude, it's like a minky nude. It's my favorite, one of my favorite colors. I love this bag so much. And one day I think I'll get her the Marmont bag, probably the small one, because she's so petite. Um, so I thought I'd get her that to start with. Um, got that from Louise Via Roma. I just think card holders are such a nice gift and I actually end, end up always wearing, using card holders or coin purses because they just fit in every bag. So that's just a cute little gift I got her. These are some boots that you would have seen in my vlogs and for sure on my Instagram. I've wanted these for so long. These are Isabel Laurent cowboy boots and I wanted them because they're so plain. I love suede. Uh, like I hate patent but I love suede. The texture is everything. The heel is small but a tiny little heel and most of all how high they are. So if you go to my Instagram you'll see me wearing these with just a plain black denim skirt. I have got an Isabel Moran top on which is absolutely amazing um, and the whole vibe just goes so well because these are obviously Isabel Moran as well. But knee high flat boots are so flattering. I just think they're so flattering and they haven't disappointed. I had to put these in my um, 
this isn't a video to do with shop tagger but uh, you will know that I put these in my shop tagger app to tell me when they're back in stock which is so, such a lifesaver because again not an ad but this is generally how I got these I, every time I, I was stalking the website and every time I'd miss it they, so everyone else clearly was getting a notica notification even though they were in my wish list someone had something that I didn't have and they were beating me to it because I'd stalk it it's not possible to stalk it any more than what I do. So this time, put them in my shop tag app, got a notification immediately, bought them, done. Bought true to size, loving them. Can't wait to wear these. These are <laughs> so amazing. Again, it's Milan. I've always loved this brand. Just love how casual it is. So I haven't, I haven't ordered myself a pair of trainers for so long. I, ha I love trainers. I love my Chanel ones. I have quite a few trainers, but I wear them to death. And I didn't need any, because I had so many, and I hadn't had any new ones for a while. And I don't really need any new trainers. Like they're all still really great condition. But I just, I think it's because bo I booked a holiday, like a proper holiday for once. We're, we're just going to the family house in France. But it's the place where I can really relax and these just scream summer and holiday. They also come in black, which is really cool. But I I just had to have them and they're so comfy as well. I just thought they'd look really nice with like my lemon summer dress. Um I just think this whole like vibe here is really classic. So just imagine the cut-off jeans with these, your plain tee, and then that would completely bring it to life. So like, we all wear trainers, tea and jeans we all do um anything like this with a bit of color is what gives it personality but then i always think the jacket is what what makes it so you could wear a black tailored blazer which will completely change the look or you could wear this oversized low heavy cardigan for me jackets are everything that's why i love them so much but they are my isbomo one trainers i just love them so much um and the last thing that we're going to talk about is underwear because it's something that I don't really see. Uh, uh, start again, Claire. Obviously, when I do my hauls, I have started from the day one that I did my hauls. I have done it on a row because sorry if you've already listened to this, but for new people, when you're a stylist, you and you're going to, sh to, sh to style a campaign, you'll always have a row with your bits. And when you're on personal shopping, I'd have a row with the bits. I've never ever known to do it any different. So it is very much a trend now to have a row on, on YouTube. Uh, yeah, a row on styling, but that's just all I know. And the underwear is just what I know. You would never style anyone without their underwear. So you really have to start from inside out. Even when you're wearing a t-shirt, you're gonna completely ruin it if you have the wrong bra on, which yes, I do all the time, because actually I'm more bothered about what other people look than I am myself. You should see me if I'm ever on set doing something. I'm literally like what I'm wearing now, normally probably with my hair up, because it's not about me. So one of my favorite websites, again, this isn't sponsored, um, just trying to be transparent with you. It's just one of my favorite brands and they do all different kind of brands and I really love their own brand as well. Shipping's perfect. Um, it's just my go-to place. So just to also be transparent, this is what happened. This is my favorite bra of all time. I even love it showing a bit for a white t-shirt or slightly transparent t-shirt. It's kind of like a balcony style and it has this corset um, detailing. That looks huge. It's my favorite bra. I love it. I've worn mine to death. I can't even wear it anymore. And I saw it was on the Instagram. It said back in stock. So I bought this color, a black one, and then they now do a brand new bodice. So I bought it. And then the, the girls there knew that I loved it. And I bought myself a couple of other basic things as well, you know, like basic bras and knickers. And the girl sent me it, so I literally had double. So I can't tell you if this is gifted or bought, because I have two, and one I bought and one they get, they gave me. But it's just so amazing, and this would be so nice under, because the back detail is really nice. This is nice if you're wearing something where you are going to see your underwear ever so slightly. But yeah, it's just so beautiful, I love it. Um, you've seen me talk about this many times before. Um, I even went shopping the other day and tried on a dress and I was trying to explain this bra. This is the bra. So invest in these. Don't care. Just 
order one of these and you'll thank me later. Every girl needs this in their wardrobe. I have it in black. I've got a lilac one. Every time they bring out a new colour, I get it. If you have something where it's a bit of a v-neck, like especially a wrap dress or something like that, it's perfect. They don't have any underwise, they're really comfy. The back is the same as the front, so when I ever I have a dress where it's backless and I can't obviously wear backless stuff because of the size of my... I'm a 34 double D and you know I just don't want to like because I just don't feel comfortable so I always just rely on these and I have them in every colour and they're so affordable. I can't see the price but they're so affordable so everyone needs one of these that's the black bodice bra you'll love that it's great for i'm a 34 double d and it's great for me but yeah it'll be great for anyone these also offer a lot of support as well oh this is the lilac one so that's their latest color so i ordered that straight away um the strapless bras a lot of people always say to me what bra are you wearing under that dress this is the one i wear it's the fig leaves um own brand and it's it's um i was gonna tell you my bra size again but i've already told you so they just last a long time and they come with the strap i always buy strapless bras which do have a strap as well so i this is like my go-to strapless bra and i'm just showing you that because a lot of people ask me for my size what bra am i wearing and lastly, I'm going to show you this. Now, I ordered this for my mum because she's coming on holiday with us tomorrow. And she said to me, oh, I don't want a swimsuit. But I don't want a bikini. And I was like, well, what do you want then? A, uh, what did I say to her? No, not them surf suits. I can't remember what they're called now. And she was like, no, I want a tankini. So she loves uh, fig leaves as well, actually. I think she's the first thing I ever got from fig leaves is something my mum bought me. And she asked me to get her, well, she didn't ask me to get her this, I just said, I'll get you one. And we both love the yellow one. So I got her this and I was like, I want a tankini. Because I, especially at the moment, I don't feel like my best weight. I just think it's like the swimsuit, which, I'm, which are more flattering. And they feel like you're more shapely and sucked in. But then if I do want to sunbathe, not that I do anymore, you can just roll it up. So you do have a bikini, and it's like wearing a swimsuit, but better. So I'm quite excited to um, try a tankini, and I just love how colourful that is, and I absolutely love that me and my mum are going to have the same. So a bit of a varied um, haul as usual, a bit of everything, but definitely a haul where it's kind of key pieces, what key underwear you should be wearing. Um, always be conscious of your underwear, even if it's just... Um, just a matter of doing your straps right or making sure that you have something pretty for a backless bra make sure you're wearing a strapless bra and don't put your straps in because it's not going to be flattering it's going to ruin your whole outfit so i just want to stress that underwear is really important if your body is um perfect enough for you not to wear bra then go you you don't even have to worry about this uh, perfect t-shirts, I always like showing a nice blouse because I'm definitely the kind of person that's jeans and a nice top kind of person. Blazers and flares, key pieces, my beautiful new bag. I'm really excited to discover a new handbag. I'm quite loyal to the brands that I love when it comes to handbags. Um, and I hope that you can trust me that if I'm ever going to introduce a new bag, it's going to be one that I really, really love. All oh, the gardeners scared me. Um, so any questions that you have about this about the weight i'm probably going to get questions about the weight so i'm quite finicky about when it comes to weight of bags i like them to have a bit of weight for them to feel nice i just that's what i like i like to feel a bit of weight especially when they've got all the lining inside it's going to have a bit of weight to it but too heavy for me because i i mean i have no strength i have a bad shoulder i have a bad bad everything so this is i would say was a nice happy medium and i think the size is really good that you can't overpack it too much i just love these two green tones this is called ice and this is called storm so i hope you enjoyed this vlog everything will be li uh, linked in the description box below with side references any declarations you need to know about us all there Oh, and I am now Claire Chanel on Instagram. So I'm not sure if we're going to be doing that Instagram that I am Shakir. Um, I am obviously still always going to be known as I am Shakir, but my Instagram is Claire Chanel now. So yeah, that feels really good for a nice change. So I'm going to finish packing. Can't wait to go on my holiday. I hope you enjoyed this haul and I'll catch you in the next one.